welcome to city of Pittsburgh, voted number one, the most livable city in the United States. This is the newest episode of Realtology by Roman Ivanov. And in this video, we'll discuss the pros and cons living in the steel city. I will discuss the most important aspects being in Pittsburgh, such as Medicare, transportation, food industry, and of course, real estate. Pittsburgh also known as a city on three rivers, where Mangahala River enters in Ohio River. As you can see, this triangle, then the Ohio River enters into Mississippi River. The population of city of Pittsburgh is just a little over 300,000 people. The majority of Pittsburghers, they live in the suburbs in Allegheny County. It makes the whole greater Pittsburgh area population over a million and a half. We have all four beautiful seasons in Pittsburgh with pretty mild winter, hot and humid summer, gorgeous fall and spring season. All in all, I can say that Pittsburgh is a sunny state. We have 202 days of cloudy weather in Pittsburgh on average. That's, that's what makes me appreciate the sunny days like today. I'm in Oakland right now. This neighborhood famous for University of Pittsburgh and this is the college part of our town. It also famous for UPMC, the abbreviation for University of Pittsburgh Medical Center, one of the biggest health provider in Allegheny County. The only competitor they have is HAN, Allegheny Health Network, that's provided by Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Pittsburgh ranks pretty high among other universities in the United States. However, to, to get a tuition for, for education in this university would be very expensive. Right behind me, the Presbyterian Hospital. This is the biggest hospital in Allegheny County. I actually admitted an emergency room once when I cut my finger. The service was great. I can only compliment this hospital from my experience. However, the cost of insurance, I think it's slightly higher than average around the country. We got a quote for $834 for two of us, for me and my wife. Giant Eagle is the largest uh, grocery store chain in Pittsburgh area. Uh, what's the nice thing about this chain? Uh, you, you get the Advantage card, a little key tag with a barcode when you sign up uh, for, for the perks. And as you scan your items, as you buy groceries, you get fill perks uh, that you can use towards your gas purchases. <laughs> If you're searching for homes in the luxury market, Pittsburgh offers absolutely phenomenal opportunity for you to find a great deal. Pricing starts at 500000 in the luxury market and goes up to multi-million multi dollars. Right now we're in Pine Richland Township, one of the most expensive neighborhoods in town, along with Fox Chapel, Upper St. Clair, Mount Lebanon. Prices here go for about two, three million dollars. But even so, compared to many larger markets like LA, Miami, or New York, you can buy a beautiful home at a fraction of the cost. Moving 
from Pine Ridgeland to Lawrenceville. Lawrenceville is the fastest growing neighborhood in Pittsburgh. Prices appreciate more than 400% since the recession of 2008. And city also helped with this price grow by providing tax privileges to these neighbors. So buyers could afford buying more expensive homes and pay less while they getting this tax advantage. So prices went significantly up and as you can see on Butler Street, we see all the infrastructure that, that this price increase brought to this neighborhood. Restaurants, grocery shops, nightclubs, everything you need for the fun life in this neighborhood. So as you probably noticed, homes in Lawrenceville and in Pittsburgh in general, mostly 100 years and older. In the past decade, developers heavily remodeled this neighborhood as well as other neighborhoods in the city. That's what you typically see on the outside of these homes, when on the inside, they're perfectly beautiful. After taking you through fancy neighborhoods, I wanna show you how an average Pittsburgh population live like. I'm taking you to North Hills, a neighborhood called Scheller. Likely, I'm hosting an open house and I can show you on the inside the home price at 218,000. Like I said, an average sales price in Pittsburgh is $194,000. Shaler is a safe, family-oriented neighborhood with good schools and very low crime rate. Luckily, we are hosting an open house and I can show you how we live in Pittsburgh and what to expect when you make your move. This home located on Sandy Drive in Shaler Township. It contains three bedrooms, two full baths, open floor plan. It's priced at $218,000. And I want to show you the inside of this home so you can understand better our local real estate market. is a beautiful city and definitely a very affordable one. If you're thinking about moving in this city and still have some questions, feel free to reach out to me, my contact information in the description. Please subscribe to my channel to see more videos about Pittsburgh real estate and I hope to see you in the next video.